When you think librarian, you often think of someone who's quiet and bookish, not someone who's known for feats of strength. I always think about the guy who's telling me to be quiet. <laughs> anyway, they've yeah. got their stereotype, that's for sure. I should be quiet in the library. <laughs> so what's the deal with the Utah man dubbed the world's strongest librarian? New specialist John Hollenhorst, live from the Salt Lake City Main Library with tonight's IN Report. John? Well, an inspirational book coming out this week will draw national attention to a librarian who works here at the main downtown library. The world's strongest librarian is about far more than books and feats of strength. It's about his wrestling match with a bizarre and troubling disorder. If you see him at the library, you might think he has a bad case of hiccups or perhaps a bad sneezing attack. The urge doesn't go away. But it's clear these involuntary spasms are no fun. It's often worse in backstage staff areas out of sight of the public. When I'm talking, I'm fine. Um, that is one of the challenges of this place is I don't get to just spend the whole day chatting. Since he was eight years old, Josh Hanagarni has struggled with the strange behavior of Tourette syndrome. It also, it also helps that I work with nice people who don't tell me to shut up. I almost bought them all headphones for Christmas, but they said I don't need to. He can sometimes suppress the tics, but he pays a price later with even more severe ones. If you, if you think of it like a sneeze, it kind of always feels like a sneeze on the brink, or yeah, you can hold it in, but you let a sneeze out to have some relief. Um, so it's like a sneeze located in a million different places. It's here, it's here, it's in my voice box. Since he titled his new memoir, The World's Strongest Librarian, can you guess where this is going? Not to the stacks where he shelves books, but to the library exercise room where something interesting happens. He can lift nearly 600 pounds and can even bend frying pans and heavy nails. While I lifted, the ticks would go away. After the anxiety and despair of his teenage years, he discovered weightlifting at age 20, and he found hope. When I would go lift, that was the only time I felt like I was actually in control of my body. I was weak as a kitten but I could make my body do what I wanted it to for a while. What do you know, or what do you think you know about Tourette's? He frequently speaks right to classes there. and community groups. His it's message, life is Gosh, better if you latch on to something that gives you direction and a way to measure progress. His book is a poignant story of hope, wrapped in a born librarian's delight over books and comic humor about life. But don't expect a completely happy ending. Tourette's still makes him pay a price for suppressing his tics. It's way worse now than it ever was. Even with know, weightlifting. At the, during the darkest days. So I'd say it's, it's harder than ever right now, but my life is also better than it's ever been because of how I think about it now. He admits he's not really the world's strongest librarian. In fact, he knows of a medical librarian in Tennessee who can lift more weight. But he says it's all a matter of context. He's not just lifting weights, he's lifting spirits. And sometimes that can take some pretty heavy lifting. Back to you. That's more rewarding too, John. Thanks, that was a great story. That sure was.